Shalom, Shalom. I want to start out by giving all praises unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Hachakwadash. I want to say double honors to our apostles who are elders who rule well. Also, bless the salutations to your brothers out there teaching and enduring truth and sincerity. What are you doing? You're going to race me? That's crazy. Uh, Salak, yeah, you know, let me let me uh, salute again. I'm in traffic, doing it in transit. So, you know, we know how that goes in traffic. Um, first off, I want to say call hello to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai Bahashim Rakhakadash. Double honors to our apostles who are elders who rule well. Also, blessings and, blessings and salutations to you, brothers, at that teaching and enduring truth sincerity. Uh, so yeah, yeah, I wanted to do, um, go over a lesson. Um, this was a lesson based off of, uh, you know, something that was discussed and just being being productive, you know, uh, within the ministry, you know, uh, because, you know, we, um, we, we speak about it here and there and um, I speak about it and it's, um, it's not along the lines it's not along the lines of uh, just disobeying leadership or anything. It has nothing to do with that. It has to do with magnifying your office. Okay? Magnifying your office. So, let's get that. Satan, bro. Satan, Satan's out today. All right, so we're going to go uh, in Romans 11, chapter 11, verse 13. It says, for I speak to you Gentiles, and as much as I am the apostle of the, Gent of, of the Gentiles, I magnify mine office. Okay, so this is a put two and two together type of uh, scenario because, you know, Paul's speaking to the Gentiles here and you know this when he says I magnify my office that's a context clue all right he's basically you know you know in that particular verse he's saying you know I, I'm coming to you I'm doing I handle my business you know uh, but he's saying I magnify my offices because his office is to do what to teach so when you're teaching to Gentiles not only are you magnifying it that because you're extending it you're increasing it but he, Paul also went hard in the paint when it came down to doing the work, okay? Uh, so, when we go to the main scripture I want to get, it says, Go to the ant, thou sluggard, consider her ways, and be wise, which having no guide or uh, overseer or ruler, provided for meat in the summer, and gathered for food in the harvest. How long wilt thou sleep, O sluggard? When wilt thou arise out of thy sleep? So it says, you go back to verse 8, really verse 7, it says, Which having no guide, overseer, or ruler, provided for meat in the summer, and gathered her food in the harvest. Okay? What does that mean? Nobody has to tell you what to do to do it. You got your job. Like, you, you know it's a necessity without it having to be a necessity. You don't got to run out of food to say, oh, dang, I need food. You know what I'm saying? It, or somebody to come over here and cause to tell you, hey, remember, you got to eat. You got to eat. What that reminds you of a, of, of a child, even a child, hey, I can't even say it reminds you of a child. Even a child know how to do that, you know, when it comes to consume, consumption. But this is the difference. This is what it makes it hard. When you're no longer thinking subjective, thinking about yourself, but you're thinking about the environment. Once you start thinking about the environment, now you got to think outside of yourself and for the culture of a situation, all right? You gotta be selfless, okay? And if your desires, as I've said, you know, um, if your desires is towards the most high, it will create initiative, you know what I'm saying? So you shouldn't, you shouldn't be in a point to where, I wanna get this scripture, because sometimes, you know, this, the, you know, the spirit just put put a put a thought in my mind. 
that uh, in Sirach chapter uh, 7 verse 15 it says hate not labor's works neither husbandry which the most high hath for thee you see because sometimes you may get fatigued sometimes you may feel like I can't do it right sometimes you may feel like you know um, how can I get better at this but if you you full of shit if you if you can't figure it out this would be plain because you have too many avenues in order to accomplish the goal you have elders you have the scriptures you have the Holy Spirit you have your actions where you keep the laws there's too many pieces of information you know you can go into other books you know how to be more creative as long as it's in league with the scriptures you're good the scriptures say that it doesn't want them uh doesn't need a mate or you know going to many books there's no end because it's, it's endless information out there ultimately you could just go through the bible the bible tells you it tells you to be virtuous you know what i'm saying that's moral goodness that's like but some sometimes you need to go and, and, and really lock on to moral goodness or uh hard work or discipline sometimes you need to lock on that specific subject you know and that will create you know uh the ability now that's another segue if you exercise and rehearse the righteous acts you become more prudent towards the outcome of every situation more accurately all right um if you never train something and you think you're just gonna pop up and be able to do it at a at at its at its magnitude then you're kidding yourself and then another thing if you accomplish it if you're working on discipline and you master that discipline that day you set a you set a goal out for yourself oh, i'm gonna do this this that and the third it's about a list of eight things let's say and uh you accomplish all that list there's no there's no reason for a victory dance or anything because you got to do it again that you know it's all about consistency you know so when when we're magnifying our office or we're falling short or we're trying to improve in something you know for me i you know i would advise to now you know that's a part of your journey that's a part of your journey you got your you got your ministry you got what you got to do in the ministry but then you got personal things too you gotta learn how to juggle those things because you know we're in the flesh all right and everything got a, 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 a filter through the scriptures and just to add on that make that made myself mindful that i had to stop adding carnal things into my life because when it came down to focus on the spirit i'm talking about like the ministry because it's all everything spiritual i'm talking about like okay i need to improve this i need to you know uh you know make sure the flock is all good and then i'm not available because i'm over here i gotta do this i gotta handle that you know what i'm saying then you know i'm not I'm, when when i lose control or satan gets overwhelming i don't have the availability to make the adjustments that's why the scriptures say you know the you know the bishop should have one wife and and, and uh things of that nature you know uh, uh be sober you know because you got to be ready you got to be ready to make that adjustment to make that sacrifice to much is given much is required so even when you come into this ministry you got a you got a responsibility you got a responsibility on how to carry yourself you got a responsibility on educating yourself you got a responsibility on maximizing your virtue breaking down scriptures properly to edify the flock also to wake someone up you know uh, uh uh when you're upset or when you're sad or when you have you emotionally feeling to not attach that to your judgment you know uh we we are the standard and we are the ones that's holding the uh holding the mantle man and so it's a lot more than just going out and saying you know he is the devil and i hate you and i'm tired of this and you're doing that wrong you know it, it this it's a, it's a whole lot more to it okay and not saying nothing's wrong with it and you got to be all soft-hearted and being nice to everybody no you got to have balance that's just all that's it okay so when it comes down to this ministry whatever your office is you need to have balance
You need to have a desire. You need to love this. You know, you need to wait on the next opportunity to level up, to rank up. Because if you focus on, if you focus on the top, you know what I'm saying? It's like climbing a ladder, a very high ladder. If you look down, then that's when you're gonna start getting nervous, nervous and queasy. You know, if you focus on looking up at your goal, move on to the next one. When you come to the Lord, seek him 10 times more. And it also says, put forth all your strength, for even yet will he far exceed. So when you get in a position of anything within this ministry, you're supposed to be maximizing that to your best ability. And then when the next challenge comes, you get excited for that next challenge and maximize that one. And then you maximize the next one. How do you maximize it? You focus on it. Okay? You be patient with it. All right? Because wisdom is applying knowledge. So if you're if you have a if you have a situation or something that the Lord requires you to do, how do you gain wisdom in that? Through experience, the ups and the downs. All right? Getting it wrong and getting it right. Seeing how hard it is. Seeing how easy it is. But it comes to repetition because the thing with anything is never constant. Especially the spirit. Results are never constant. It's about only thing that could be constant about anything is how you react to the result. All right? The scriptures say when, there's a, when, it, when in prosperity, it's a forgiveness of, of affliction and, and vice versa. So when you're low, you, if you've been that before, you know how to come up. If you've been up and you've been low before, you know what it feels like to be low. You know what I'm saying? But it's natural to forget about being low. But the more you experience it, the more you remember. You know, so that goes into whatever the Lord requires us to do. And mainly I'm talking about, you know, just going to magnifying your office and proving within this ministry. Hey, if you keep exercising it, if you got to work on being humble, if you got to work on being more disciplined, you, everything is about discipline for you until you do it naturally. When you wake up in the morning, you did everything you uh, applied your mind to do that the Lord allowed with ease when it's a habit for you. You know, and it's, and it's said it takes over a thousand repetitions for something to be muscle memory. So waiting on that special day, you know, I'm waiting on a, a, to, to reserve, you know, uh, uh, being humble. So throughout your life and throughout your day, you're just being a regular person that you are, waiting on that Satan to hop out and say, humble moment time. It ain't going to work like that. You got to apply to every aspect of life and make it routine. And then Satan going to pop out just like that. And you're going to be ready. You're going to be experienced. Rehearse the righteous acts. Very simple, man. And also, have a desire towards this office, man. It's a beautiful thing to be here. And it's a beautiful thing for every challenge. Because it's an opp opportunity to prove to the Most High that, you're, that, you're, uh, that you deserve to be here. You know? Ain't nothing wrong with proving to the Most High every day that you deserve to work at his work for his company, man. You know, I don't care if you don't do it in the world or doing anywhere else. This is the place to do that. Every day is a challenge. You, you fill out the application. Can you work in a changing environment? Can you do this? Can you do that? I'm on that. And if I ain't, show me, and I'll get it. Because what, what do we want? Our payday is what? Salvation. Okay? And you should never be complacent with the, with, the, with the person you are just because you're doing a little bit of good. All right? Good is good. I ain't trying to be the bearer of bad news. And, but it's all about always improving and getting better, man. You know? Striving for perfection. Okay? Hey, Shalom.